watching lies beyond the stars Those thousand heights too vast to climb I got so high to fall so far But I found heaven as love swept now My heart beating, my soul breathing I found my life when I laid it down I put it falling, spirit soaring I touched the sky when my knees hit the the 
Everybody to please rise as we welcome the bride. Trust you wherever you lead. And when there are days when you feel afraid, I promise I won't walk away. Cause all I want, my future is here, together with all of my dreams. The storms may come. There's nothing I can do For I see His promise And the promise is you Together we'll run towards love That I know there were days Whether it change or it rains Together we'll lift up our praise And when our time here has ended And God asked me what I had been through I will lay at his feet all our victories and thank him for giving me you. I'll always thank him for giving me you. Through battles won and fears overcome, I found a faithful one. Through highs and lows, you will never be alone. Forever and always, my forever and always, forever. Beloved, 
We are all gathered here in the presence of God and of His people to join JR and Mayan in the holy state of matrimony. Marriage is an honorable estate instituted by God. Therefore, no one should in any way enter into it lightly or unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, soberly, and in the fear of God, considering the causes for which marriage was ordained. God ordained marriage for the mutual company, help and comfort for man and woman, both in prosperity and adversity. Into this holy state, J.R. and Mayan come now to be joined. If anyone can show just cause why they may not be lawfully joined together, let him speak now or else forever hold his peace. Who shall give this woman to be married to this man? Thank you. JR, you may now take the bride. JR, will you have May Ann to be your wedded wife, to live together according to the law of God in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only to her so long as you both shall live? Yes, I do, Pastor. May Ann, will you have JR to be your wedded husband, to live together according to the law of God in the holy state of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, keep yourself only to him so long as you both shall live? I do. Thank you. Let us bow down our heads as we ask the Lord's blessing in this ceremony. We are so grateful to Heavenly Father and that we present ourselves before you with a thanksgiving for being the God and the creator, the giver of life, and even the designer of marriage. And we are here this afternoon to be witnesses and as we stand before you presenting JR and May Ann as they fulfilled their vows for one another. And Lord, we thank you for being the, the source of strength and the giver of grace that even in our limitations, you are there in order to complete by way of giving us the strength to fulfill the vows and the desires of JR towards Mayan and Mayan towards JR. Lord, as we observe and as we uh, are here this afternoon, asking for your presence and blessings as we have this uh, program, as we have this ceremony, and praying, Lord, that may you bless every item, every part, and that may everything will be done for your glory and for your honor. All this we ask in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Now, I just would like to focus on these two important commands na directly ginhatag ni Paul sa mag-asawa. And I've been wondering kung nga, auna ginhatag ang order o kung ang command sa asawa. Wives, submit to your own husbands. And I believe there are some important principles being established in this particular command. Kag kung nga, auna ginsugo sa asawa, kag nga, hindi una ginhambalan si Adan o kung ang lalaki, ang husband, nga higugma ang imo asawa. Huwag nga auna ginsugo ang babae, agod nga mag-sumiter o kung magsunod. Because I believe, not only that Paul recognizes the importance of ladies first, o tayo ang mga asawa, but I believe wife being uh, in subjection. Because the order here is for the wives to submit. Kag, for many years, I've also been wondering, nga awa ginsugo, that wives, you also have to, to submit to your husband. Because later I, I have learned that it, it is easy for the wives to love their husband. Actually, pa, hapos pa luyagon or pahigugmaon ang babae, tagaan lang na isang lalaki, importansya, uh, lipayon lang siya permi or i-please lang siya permi, kadasing magtubo, galik sang paghigugma sang babae sa lalaki. Amo na nga damo sang naintuan, <laughs> na damo sang mga natuntuhan, o damo sang mga sining nila, ang mga lalaki, mga mga ano na mga papati 
O ti kay mga babae, gapati man kag. O ti, kay nga, akadali to, on mahulog yung sang buot, sang, lala, sang babae sa lalaki. Ang muna gani, nga ang paghigugma sang babae sa lalaki, hapos lang na iya patubuon. But, ang importante nga gin command actually sang ni ni Paul sa mga asawa is ang pag-submit because because I've learned especially sang na, na, na asawa naman ko I've learned ga ang struggle sa mga wives ang submission gid man and it's true it's hard to submit you know why but amo ning imi hambal ko sa imo may an JR may not always be right but you are always commanded to submit. I'm not saying nga hindi ka mo mag-cooperate kung ano ang mga discussion or kinanglan sa mga decision making. I'm not saying nga si, si JR ang hindi na kinanglan ni JR ang imo opinion. But the point is, whatever the final say of the husband, the wife must be submissive. Pila ka adlaw, mag edad ka mo, kung mamata si Kuan, si uh, May Ann pila ka adlaw, Amo na gani nga ang ang vow importante gid ni kay amo ni siya ang imo gin sumpa amo ni siya ang imo gin promise uh, we are now in a advanced state sang ginatawag naton nga technology but ironically amo na ning problema man subong we seldom talk face to face nga ah, isa lang ka balay ga messenger pa mo so especially kung may mga kaakigon ka mo or may mga kaawayon ka mo pila ka adlaw, base gaaway ka mo sa messenger lang bla bas lanay bla ha. Hindi ato bangay ka mo kag ideal ninyo ang sitwasyon, no? And I know nga ang communication is one of the things that would resolve easily kun ano man ang mga contentions or disagreements. And I hope that you would always bear in mind that when once you you gave your your promise for each other, that the Lord will always honor that and will enable you to fulfill that promise for one another. Uh, Nagpasalamat ko na sa ginawa for uh, ginatag sang ginatag sang ginoo ikaw sa imo parents. So until such time nga nagmeet kita sa Bible College, ka wala ko kabal wala ko nag-expect nga muna to gali ang so good sang result subong. So, salamat kit ko sa akin sa ginoo. Kag sa parents ko man eh, sa kung ano ko subong, I'm proudly proud kit ko nga maghambal nga it is because of what they have done sa pagpadako sa akin. Kag it was the Lord who crossed our path and there I believe the best kit yung ginoo magikot. So, amon ang nagapati kit ko nga ginoo, the best kit yung magikot kay ikaw ang ginatagya sa akin. Tiyan na kato sa akin the best kit first prize ah do nagdaog sa luto so thankful for guiding me sa right person uh, actually nagapasalamat gid ko sa Ginoo kay si Mayan ang pinakauna ko nga naging girlfriend so pinakauna so sang time nga nagdecide ko nga mag nga mag ano bala mag mag, mag find ko sa ngakon nga partner gin guide gid ko sa Ginoo sang itsakto nga tawo kag wala gid ko nagsala so amo na sa subong ari na sa subong sa akong tubangan and will be soon uh, my wife kag you are one of the ikaw ikaw ang isa sa mga tatlo ka special woman sa akong heart so first si mama ikaw ang ikaduwa so ay katatlo hindi na iya kabit ah. so ano na sa spoiler someday ah, para sa aton nga bata so Thank you for sharing your life for the past seven years since naging sabat mo ko. Kag I know damo pa ko dapat hibaloon about sa imo kay may mga ginatago ka pa. So, sige lang. It takes time ah. So, so much things I had learned from you but still kabalo ko damo pa ko damo ka pa ginatago. But don't worry as we proceed sa next chapter sa aton nga life starting from now I promise first uh, loyalty muna ni siya kung yung mga bao sa imo. I promise loyalty nga hindi mo git ko madakpa na ikaw pang babae. <laughs> I promise humbleness uh, as long as I can admit. Oh, kung may mga inaway magitabi nga misunderstanding nga nagkakatabo, uh, i-admit ko abis kandi akong sala. Sorry master. <laughs> so, I promise love uh, to treat you as my queen. Kung i-treat mo mang cooking eh. So, I promise provision. Uh, so, as a husband, I will promise provision. Pero sa needs lang, 
Pastor, no? <laughs> Hindi lang sa once, ha? pati ka na. So, lot of promises I want to give. Actually, damo-damo ko gusto yung mga promises galing kay ginat, gina, ginakonsize ko lang message. So, over all, all those promises, lastly, kay because uh, kalabanan sa mga tao, nagapati, ay, ang baw-baw, nasa sugod, malang na. So, una, malang na, tagdua ka bula, na pinakadugay, pero tatlo. So, because promises are meant to be broken, ang last kong nga baw is perseverance. Sa tanan ko nga mga promises nga ginhambal, although times may come, nga hindi ko sila makip, by, but I promise perseverance. I will do my best nga i-remind ko ang self ko nga there, there is a time nga natindog ko sa tunga sa mga tawo sa tubangan sa ginoo nga gimbuyan ko itong mga promises ko. Hindi ko man siya matupad pero I will keep my best nga mahimo ina para sa imo to prove and show how I love you. Seven years ago, I have made a commitment to be a faithful and loving girlfriend of yours. And now, I am making a commitment in front of her loved ones and the Lord to be your wife. As I look back, the process wasn't easy. There are LDRs and stuff. But I was always happy and blessed to have you. As I can remember, I was praying for you in shadows, telling God the qualities of the man I needed. And then I saw and get to know you. And I started praying, Lord, kanami mo ni siya man. Tanitagaan mo ko sang lalaki nga pariyo siya. But then, I still con continued to pray. And lastly, when you told me you loved me, that was the time I really prayed. Lord, if he is the answer to my prayers, please help me to make the right decision and help me to keep, keep whatever commitment we'll have. Now, all I can say is, masarap mahalin ang sagot sa panalangin. <laughs> and happy anniversary. Today is the best anniversary gift. And I can't thank the Lord enough for everything He has done for us. We may not be perfect, but these blessings are um, certainly shows that He is faithful. Thank you for being with me through ups and downs, for loving me without judgment, and for being faithful, LDR man or not. And I thank you for always choosing me, even when you would hear negative feedbacks about me. Thank you for seeing that there is something precious behind that Traidora girl they see. Thank you so much. Now I'm here committing myself to you. By His grace, I vow to submit to you to be faithful and truthful to you. I vow to keep no record of wrongs. I vow to be a prayer warrior you'll need through ups and downs. I vow to be your partner in whatever ministry the Lord will entrust us. I vow to do my best as I can to be a great wife and a mother to our future kids. I vow to share things with you, whether good or bad, and lastly, I vow not to uninstall your Mobile Legends app. <laughs> I am so happy to be with you for the rest of my life. Happy 7th anniversary. I love you so much. And may God be glorified all the days of our lives. Okay, thank you. Shall we give them a round of applause? <laughs> the ring is the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond that unites two hearts to become one. And the basis of that is love that binds these two hearts together. And usually wedding rings are made of a precious metal. And this shows not only as a guarantee that 
they are taken by, by the other party. But this is, of course, a picture that symbolizes the unfailing love, the an infinite love coming from God. Understand, J.R. and Mayan, that without the love of God, you cannot love your partner unreservedly and faithfully. So, J.R., as a token of your love towards Mayan, I want you to insert this ring into her ring finger. In token and pledge of the vow made between us with this ring, continue to commit my love to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In token of pledge of the vow I made between us, with this ring, continue to commit my love to you in the name of the Father and of the Son, of the Lord and the Holy Spirit. The husband gives this coin to the wife, hereby pledging that all of his material wealth jointly belongs to his wife, and that he will support her to the utmost of his ability. He is now her provider. I give you this treasure as promise of my total dedication for you and my constant concern for your welfare and to our future children in the name of, our Jesus, of Jesus our Lord and Savior. And I accept them. J.R. and Mayan, the Bible is God's uh, word and the Bible is God's love letter for mankind. You have to understand that everything that are contained in it is intended for us as humans to recognize God as our creator, the source of life, and the giver and the maker of marriage. And I want you to Make a commitment to the Lord to always allow His Word to be a vital part of your daily life as married couples. Meaning that will serve as your compass, as your map, that will serve as your instructions manual, as your guideposts that whenever there are questions or troubles or problems, you can consult that book in order to gain wisdom and understanding as you make decisions in life. The veil symbolizes the wife's willing submission to her husband, and he is the head of his new family. It also symbolizes the husband's protection over his wife. He is now her defender. The cord symbolizes infinity, the unending love that binds the husband and wife like a strong cord that shall never be broken. At this very moment, I would like to request both of the parents to so please come forward together with our sponsors. So please gather around.
including Maninoy and Maninay. Thank you. Let us witness the signing of the marriage contract. And this is actually a legal document that will prove to the world that JR and May Ann are already bound to the legal proceedings of marriage. And they may not be wearing this on their neck, but they are bound according to the authority of the government that they are bound as with one another as husband and wife. And I would like to request Pastor Gideon, Pastor Monico Gomez, uh, Dr. Edna Oli, uh, and Mrs. Alice Magbanwa to represent the sponsors to sign the contract. You may think that I'm talking foolish Heard that I'm wild and I'm free May wonder how I can promise you now This love that I feel always will be you're not just out that I'm killing no longer one of those guys as sure as I live oh this love that I give is gonna be yours until the day that I die oh baby I'm gonna love you forever Forever and ever, amen Oh darling, I'm gonna love you Forever and ever Forever and ever, amen Honey, I don't care I ain't in love with your hair And if it all fall out I love you anyway They say the time takes tricks on our memory Makes people forget things they knew Shall we pray? Salamat Lord sa sining hapon nga ari kami agod na hindi lamang mag-witness kundi ari kami bilang mga ginakilala kaginasaligan ni Mayan kag ni JR uh, sa ila pag uh, upod sa kabuhi, upod sa kabuhi kino. Uh, sining hapon, kami naga pangamuyo, kag nagatugyan sa ila. Yes. Nga kabay pa, punoon mo sila ginoo sa uh, kaalam, yes. halin sa imo, mm. sa imo pulong, punoon mo sila sa paghigugma sa isa kagisa, mm. punoon mo sila ginoo sa pag-insindi, kag pagbatas. Yes. Kaya balo kami ginoo nga uh, ang pag-asawahay isa ini ka commitment mm. hindi namon dapat buyan kag uh, pabayan gani we just pray for them that you will give them what they need the grace that they need to start together and even to continue and endure together bless them father their family kag salamat ginoo sa mga ginikanan nga nagpadako kag naghatag ginoo sang guidance sa ila sa sini nga tion ginatugyan gid namon sa imo si JR Help them to build their own family according to your will. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. This time let us witness the lighting of the unity candle. The lighting together of the one candle and extinguishing of the other two candles symbolizes that the two formerly separated lives of JR and Mayan are now joined together in one flesh, united and indivisible before God and before men.
I would like to request everybody to please bow down our heads as we pray. Father, we are so grateful for what you have done this afternoon. And as JR and May Ann has expressed and made known their love for each other, and we are here as, and standing as witnesses before you. Father, we are so honored for how you have designed marriage, becoming one. And thank you for the love that has been consummated at this very moment towards marriage as uh, JR and May Ann had expressed their love for one another. Father, we ask for your blessings upon them, whatever hardships and troubles and difficulties that they may be facing. Lord, we pray for your strength, for your grace, that may you enable them to overcome together. Lord, whatever plan you have for them in the future, I pray that they would hold on to each other and continue to follow your lead, to follow your will in their lives. I ask that with your grace, may you provide them their daily needs. May you continue, Lord, to enable them with your strength in order to continue the ministry that you have in store for them. And thank you for the people behind loving them, praying for them, encouraging them. And I pray that everything, Lord, will be well for them as they continue to trust in you and acknowledge you in their daily lives. May you bless them from this day onward. And this is our prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Okay, you may now face each other. For as much as J.R. and may and promise before God and one another to live together in holy matrimony and have done their commitment to reverently, prayerfully, and in the fear of God, I, as an ordained minister of the gospel of our Lord Jesus, and by the authority vested upon me by the Republic of the Philippines, it is my privilege to pronounce them husband and wife in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What therefore God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Let us give them a round of applause, please. <laughs> JR, your most awaited moment. You may now kiss your bride. Let us, I would like to request the audience to have a countdown from 10. Oh, ready? 10 to 1, meaning to sick, get to sick. <laughs> okay, JR, it's now your privilege. Ready? Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 17. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Jan Ray and May Ann Navarte.
Love is not magic, but it is God's will. Uh, remember, you were not born loving each other. But God lead, uh, lead you to meet each other and cause love to sp uh, spark between you and then bring you together today. Ang masiling ko lang, uh, damo pa ka mo, siling ni J.R. Kagina, damo pa si Mayan Ginatago. <laughs> Mag magawa ginatanan ko na noon na siya Amo man si JR Damo, damo ka man hindi nakilala gin niya no? No? But take note It's not just magic It's love And because it is the love that reflects The love of Christ no? Nga na-experience yahan ninyo Your love for each other will stand And as long as you make him The most important person to influence Your life So continue to love each other with the love of God nga nagtubo sa inyo when you see each other sa Bible school. Sige, God bless. Uh, to JR and May Ann, uh, just to uh, give you a little background no, sa maninoy mo ka gamaninay nga ginkuha. Uh, I've been married for uh, 27 years. Tapos, uh, apat man kami katuig nga uh, nag uh, uh, nubyahan ay kag nag uh, decide nga uh, magpakasal so uh, ang amon nga bata basi do tubo tubo niya man guru <laughs> so anyway um, I would just like to emphasize ang ginambal JR ni Pastor Kagina no kay uh, bilang uh, bana uh, you are uh, the head of the family, no, hambal sang uh, Bible. So, uh, just to give an insight, when we say you are the head of the family, kun lang taong naton, sa aton nga ulo, dira na butang ang uh, mga importante katama nga uh, organs sang tao, no. So, buot si lingon nga, you need as a husband. Uh, you need to use these faculties and organs uh, nga ara sa imong nga ulo sa inyo nga pagsugod pangabuhi ni Mayan. Uh, but silingon, as a husband, you need to uh, use ang uh, imong nga hearing, ang imong nga mata, no, ang uh, imong nga uh, baba, no, ang imong nga brain no, sa inyo nga ang, uh, pagpangabuhi kay gasugod pa lang ka mo. Uh, so bot silingon kay you are not just an ordinary couple actually no you are a christian couple no kag uh, mabug at ina katama sa aton because uh, let us not forget that we have been given the responsibility nga magshare ya sang gospel no kay kristo anon kita ya lain ang aton nga uh, pagpangabuhi sang sakalibutan so bot silingon nga uh, sa pagsugod ninyo sa inyong uh, pagpangabuhi nga dua, uh, see to it that uh, you need always to communicate. No? Ang uh, ba baara sa imong uh, ulo, so you need to use your tongue, you need to use your mouth to express yourself. No? Kaya ang communication, importante katama. No? So, uh, amo na ang pagpangabuhi. So, also don't forget nga aridri ang inyo maninoy kag ang inyo nga mga maninay nga pwede gid ninyo mapamangkot kag uh, uh, makonsulta sa mga butang nga uh, uh, you would want nga mangin klaro sa inyo no sa pagsugod ninyo sa inyo nga pangabuhi. Pati ang bulugasan kun uh, <laughs> pwede gid makatuan kag uh, mapangayuan ang uh, maninoy kag maninay kung kinang lan, sudlan ang bulugasan. Okay? So, God bless you in your new journey no, bilang uh, mag-asawa.
Okay, kag I know that God's all sufficient grace no, will be with you as you start your family. So God bless. Siguro kay May Ann, kag kay JR, kumbaga lahat-lahat siguro na sabi ko na ang sweet basil uh, sweet basils na uh, herbs magagamit ito sa lahat-lahat ng pagkain mula sa scrambled eggs hanggang sa pesto. So these are seven basil na plant in each pot. Ay isang pot na to. Simbolo kung gaano katagal si May Ann uh, at si JR bilang mag-boyfriend and girlfriend. Pero pag tinignan mo to punong-puno na to. So kakailanganin mong kumuha ng isang malaking pots para itanim yung isang butil na itinanim ko. Hindi ito, ano, kumbaga, hindi ito uh, basta-basta ang tinanim ko kasi ilang beses itong binantayan ko araw-araw. Pinakamahirap kasi itong uh, itanim. Ang magiging kaaway mo sa sweet basil are the ants and the birds. So kung titingnan mo ang relationship tulad ng basil, kailangan mong alagaan, araw-araw dapat mong titingnan isa-isa yung leaves. Kasi naando doon, nangingitlog ang mga ants. So lahat ito buhay. It's because inalagaan ko. So sana ganun din yung relationship ni May Ann at DJR. Simbolo ng basil na dapat alagaan. At Uh, kumbaga tatapon gid ililipat sa isa't isa nat na isa-isang pots para lalong lumago kumbaga maghihintay ako sa aking mga apo na sana hangga't buhay kami ni ni Maninoy mo makita at maalagaan pa namin so salamat at naging ninang at ninong ako ni JR at ni Mean Ang mga bakal na sila guro ng una-una, congrats ng officially uh, mga of the night ikaw mo. And uh, kabalo ko na sa ilang story uh, from the beginning pa nangyidya sa nga kami sa Bible School. Nang, I know nga si GR, sang first year na, na meet si May Ann, na nanonisado na Big Honey, siya balaw. Yun, yeah. Big Honey, yeah. Tagalog na balaw, mga Tagalog. Bigani siya, in a sense, sa uh, Noe, simple sa uh, beauty, hindi naman natin ma-deny ang iya beauty. Gadalagan naman na siya ang pamilya lang, tawal ninyo daw sa kilid. Na, na siya siya ng charme, ang kikrabi ng isi, gito. Na. So, ano na, uh, also sa Manguro, eh, sa Batasa ni May Ann. Ano na, nang bisang tood pala wakal, pero at least ang ginawakal, yung may punto, man Japon, ang mga blaw. Kag, ano na, nang... All throughout the years, nga obdan na sila, obdan sila, obdan na nila sa isang isa. Nakita ko man nga ang ilang love bla true gid daw. Na mamba ko kidya nga mamba ko pamilya niya pure, si JR bla. Pamilya na parte mo na duka na bla duka na may bla duka loyal. Kag siya ko lang nakita nga laki nga ano nga at least bla hindi proceed bang laki nga pakita bayi nga gwapa. Uy, ato ako no. Ay, I love you. Ay, I love you. Madisipiyak. Do sandwich, blaw. Ginapang lamit-lamit. Do sandi. Nang I love you, yeah. Pero ang, ang na-admire ko sa akin niya, pakaisa, si JR. Amun niya siya, ka uh, loyal, agit balaw. When it comes sa uh, kay May Ann, nga, ano, nga, gastigid siya in love sa kay May Ann, yeah. All throughout the years. So, muna nga, kung mambal lang sila, last, nang padayon lang, so, bungara lang kamo, hindi na kamo ka, Kabalik, ang mga ganyan, balas ang family ni May Ann Gina. JR, sigurado ka na. May one hour ka pa, may 30 minutes ka pa. Nga-remind ka na si May Ann. Ah, si May Ann, si JR, constantly. Pero, siyempre, ano, ang iyang pagpalanggan ni JR, nag-hold uh, on. And nakita mo natin sa buong na-witness natin nga ang iyang pagpalanggan. Ano, nang grabe, kita. So, ma'am, bako lang, padayon lang nga. Nang especially sa inyong pagtuo sa Gino. Kaya mo gina siyang mag-pa-hold uh, sinyo doon. Ang mga ginang magpabakod sa inyo. Wala na sa iba. Ang mga na. Pagkato mo sa office, sa office ko, kag naghambal ka nga mamana ka na, though, though 
Hindi ko bala ka pati nga maka-decide ka uh, at that point in time bala nga namangkot ko gani sa imo nga pila ka na mi nga 23 ko isog-isog no nga nag-decide nga mamana naisugan gi ko at ang grabing courage mo nga mamana ka at the age of 23 mo kay sa subong nga nga, nga, nga mga period of time bala it seems nga ang ang mga couples naga-choose to ina bilang late na sila mamana pero at that time nagambal ka nga mamana ka na do do kahibion ko to at that time mo sa office ganin na punggan ko lang kay office bala o ti do do clients sa akong pamatsyag do at that time do I have the urge to to give sermon <laughs> Mahatag na ko tayo ni Sir Monty nang wala man ko yan na ano nga sir, ma, ma sir Mon sa imo kay it's because close ka mo yan sa akon. Pero sa subong nga kita ko man nga nga ang imo nga desisyon uh, gin, gin pangamuyuan mo man gid ah. Kaga I'm happy even to witness sa sini nga nga ceremony. Kaga ang just like sa mga maninoy mo, kag sa mga parents mo, parents si JR, pe, mga maninoy kag maninoy, ang ilang uh, nga desire to help you as a couple, amo man ang akon nga desire, kag you can just, ka, both of you can come sa akon, kag uh, maka anything, uh, advices, no? Kag ang, ang nag-promise to kaina, balas ang pati bulugasan, Pwede man na ako nga ma... <laughs> Oo, oh, sa inyo. Uh, anyway, <laughs> anyway, kilala mo naman kuya ah, as, as your tita. And it's also my my wish nga... <clears throat> Ay, by the way, kaina bala, sang naga... Ang entrance bala, nagatulog ko sa brother ko, sa kay papa mo. Daw nalipay man ko nga nakita ka ni Papa mo nga ara pa siya bala. Kag nakakita siya sang imo nga estado. So, ang ako man nga, nga wish parehas man sang iban nga may you will put Jesus as the center of your uh, marriage life and you will continue to journey with uh, with the uh, faith bala sa inyo. Uh, GR palang gaon mo lang ginang hinablos ko ha. I welcome you also to our family. Thank you. Love me tender, love me dear. Tell me you are mine. I'll be yours through all the years. Till the end of time. Love me tender, love me true, all my dreams fulfill. For my darling, I love you, and I always will. Bucket full of tears, baby, no I'm here, I'm here waiting. Close those precious eyes and just realize I'm still fighting For you to be with me, sit under this tree We can watch the sunrise We can watch the sunrise I feel the air that I'm breathing Can't explain this feeling that I'm feeling I won't go another day without Like no one's around, but baby, you're wrong. Baby, you're wrong. Just get rid of the fear. Promise that I'm here, I'll never be gone. Never be gone. So, baby, 
come with me, we can fly away, and we can watch the stars shine. And maybe it can be my love. Wake up, feel the air that I'm breathing. Can't explain this feeling that I'm feeling. I won't go another day without you. sinyo nga duwa nga uh, para kay GR nga sa tanan nga dalaggo nga desisyon dapat ikaw ang masunod sa mga gagmay si Mian so makalipas sa mga pila ka tuig basi ubla puro gagmay nga desisyon nang may mo puro si Mian gali no kag ang mambal ko lang nang Mian para kay Mian hindi magpa hindi magpa hinali wala magpa isugiso gaw na ay kung kisa mag magngurob ka lang si GR do gano na mga kinto na mga kote dapat chill lang wala ang yan no ang gugmay pang ibabaw amun ni Goro nga naksidente o gab eh kay gapaminsar ko sang irigalo o sinyo ang ginapaminsar ko muna nakapaksidente sa akon para tanay karoon to hindi galing hindi wala na da yun. Kag, amo lang na yung balwa ng congrats. Kag, cheers. Sa tagumpay. Tagumpay ni GR.
Oh uh, no, na nagapasalamat kito sa Ginoo for giving us a provision para sa kinanglan no namon kag ara balang kal kalabanan nga gakabatian kung ang mga testimony sa mga bago kasal bala bala hindi na pagpaminsara ang kwarta kung magplano ka magpakasal kay maabot lan aya kag actually mo man akong testimony kay wala mako kwarta nga ginakaptan pero nakita ko bala provision sang Ginoo kag sang pagsulod ko di kay na after sang decoration ang balko Ala ako ni gal event, abi ko bisita lang ko Japan kay hindi ko makapati nga naka ano ko bala naka cater kami sa mga klase na event. So all thanks to God sa iyang provision kag sa mga nagbulig, especially sa mga nag-assist sa mon sila ni Goldie, Lira, uh, sila ni Rafi, okay bronze. Ah si bronze ka bigay ni sacrifice ni bronze para makalabot lang de. So gapa salamat git ko ah, sa mga nag-attend, salamat sa presence for being here. Uh, salamat git kag sa parents manakon sa support nila kay Mayan ka kay Pastor Aster man ha, for hosting sa sine nga uh, pagkasal ka ano ha, sa sa ilan ni nang him pati sa tito ni Golding ang nag cater para ang sa catering uh, pasalamat git ko kayo and also for the ano management sa sine nga lugar uh, nagapasalamat git kami for letting us uh, use this facility Uh, salamat kit sa tanan-tanan ng mga privilege ka all glory belongs to the Lord. Ano, first of all, I would like to thank the Lord for His provision kit kay amun na gani nang nawala kami kwarta, doon ka muna bulaho, pero ga-overflow ang blessing sa ginoo. Nga, doon din di kami makapati nga, ginagakaan kami na gawa si GR nga, gabi ba na, ano, nahiwa, tama na nga muna nga event ba, doon ka muna bulaho. Nang gabi, gandang papakamayos ang ginoo sa amon, especially sa mga tao nga kapalibot sa amon. I mean, do halos ng kadaw tao nga ginhatag sa amon sa ginoo, ginggamit niya gidbalahaw para makabulig sa amon. Mga friends ko, sa Hilary Goldie, ang Bilog Entourage, ang singers ko. As in, ginhatag gid sila tanan sa ginoo sa amon. Kag gabi, gandang kalipay na amon. Thank you so much.